big sis? Oh, brother. I thought I'd run into some mysterious stories if I followed these people, but now... It tastes different here. Mm. <laughs> Doesn't even compare to the ones we get at Kyogoku's. I disagree. The ones they make here are quite nice. But now this is what I get. Miss? Help me, please. You must please help me. <gasps> huh? Um, excuse me? <laughs> my, my. What a sight to see, huh? Well, Mata, what do you make of that? That lad has the worst damn luck. You sure we should let him go with her? Well, it's none of our concern. Then you're from Edo Momosuke? Uh yeah. Edo, huh? Hey, you can look me up if you ever happen to go there. Ask for Ikamaya near the Kyo Bridge. Okay? 
Oh, you run a big shop like that? Mm, yeah, well, sorta. Huh? Otama, what seems to be the matter? Hmm? My baby sister. We have a guest. He's a very nice young man. He saved me from a bandit today. Just keep quiet in here, all right? <laughs> I'm sorry. She's very shy. <sighs> That's all right. The fact is, my sister's blind. Huh? Hmm. Hmm. You're wondering how we can afford to live like this, aren't you? Um... No. I'm the concubine of a man named Yahe Anzai, the head of the local fishermen's union. I have no choice in this. Hmm. Huh? Hey, pal! Wh what do you want? What were you doing in there with Oyoshi, huh, kid? What? I wasn't doing anything with her. Then why were you with her? Hey, this guy's been hurt. W what's the big idea? Let go. Let go. The kid's so scared, he's ready to piss himself. Right, kid? Yeah. <clears throat> that bitch is mine. You try anything, and I'll kill ya. Watch it. It's a dangerous world we live in, know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't bully me like this if my friends were here. Huh? That man's the one I saw. This is an interesting place. I don't suppose you know any ghost stories connected with this inn. It's not haunted, is it? This will be your room. Uh, here, huh? Enjoy your stay. Hmm? <laughs> Sheesh, what an unsociable old biddy. Looking for someone, my friend? Huh? Mataichi? Well, well, Mr. Arthur. Fancy meeting up with you again. What a pleasant surprise. What do you mean, surprise? Hey, hold it right there, Mataichi. What are you up to? Are you following me around? Don't be so conceited. <gasps> Why would we be following you? I mean, after all, this is the only inn in the area. Ogin? And Nagamimi? Well, in any case, this building has a very old smell to me. It what? No, don't tell me. <laughs> There's a ghost in here too with us? Now, now, Mr. Arthur. It's probably best that you don't know any more than you already do. Would you talk straight for once? There is, isn't there? There's something here. What is it? It's not gonna kill us, is it? I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> My, my, how very rude. To react to someone's face like that, I might take it personally. The courage of a flea. Well, is he dead? <laughs> I'll have dinner ready soon. Hang on. I want to go out. You can't. It's dangerous outside. That's your fault. It's all your fault that I'm the way I am now. I know that. That's why I'll do anything for you, Otama. You're just saying that. That's not true. Oyoshi, are you home? Oh. Yahe. My goodness, what are you doing here at this hour? Oh, nothing. I just heard something that disturbed me and came by to check on you. We have a search currently underway for a very dangerous man at large in the area. <laughs> he still may be hiding around here somewhere. I... I see. What's wrong? Nothing. It's, it's nothing. I just hope they capture that awful man quickly. I see. Look, um, Otama isn't feeling well, so... How much money do you need? Master, did you only come because you were worried about me? Yes, for that, uh, and more. <laughs> Master, 
We can't do it here. I was worried about you at first, and then it turned me on. Oh. You do it with that old man, that filthy pig. He has no right to touch you, huh? <laughs> Who's there? Be aware, your candle grows short. Looks like a little kid when he's asleep. Right, Ogeen? Huh? Is it Mata? Such a deep darkness. <gasps> I have returned to you. Spiritualist peddling his charms. A spiritualist selling charms, you say? Sounds fishy to me. Ugh! Huh? Huh? Uh, some kind of specter. Father, it's dangerous here. I'll meet you at the temple on the edge of town tomorrow. I promise. just bust into my room without asking it isn't polite rubbing that handkerchief on your cheek and laughing you're more perverted than I thought it's up to me what I do with my handkerchief so you're headed back to Edo then right ah, I guess that's my choice too isn't it didn't we say it was for your own good you may even thank us for this down the road uh, huh Why, why don't we eat first? I can wait. But you're so skinny, you need your strength. Shut up. Oh. Huh? Oyoshi? Forgive me. I had to. You tried to kill me. Forgive me. Forgive me. It was Yahe. Yahe told me to do this. He made me do it. Yahe? He said if I didn't 
kill you. I couldn't stay in this town. I had to poison your food. Uh, that old bastard! <laughs> Oyoshi, I killed the old man. Oyoshi. Oyoshi. Tama. Otama, do you know where Oyoshi is? Tell me, speak, child. Ah. Excuse me. Come in. Good evening, Momosuke. Uh, what brings you here? I'm surprised. Uh, well, I... I missed you, Momosuke. Is that all right? Am I bothering you by coming to see you? Well, no. It's all right to be here. <coughs> I mean to say, I missed you too, Oyoshi. Come in. What are you writing? Oh, well, I, I just thought I... It's sort of a story I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> You're a funny man. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Uh, here's that handkerchief you gave to me yesterday. You can keep it uh, if you want. Uh, but, but why? Look, the truth is... <sighs> I have to ask a favor. A favor? Huh? Uh. Otama. This is just awful. <gasps> Otama! Uh, uh, uh. Otama! Otama! Where are you, Otama? Answer me, Otama! <gasps> Oyoshi, look at this. Yahe's dead. I'm waiting on Tomoe Point. That evil man took her. Otama! Wait! Oyoshi, wait! Uh, Nagamimi, it's you. Mr. Arthur, might it be a good idea not to get mixed up any deeper in this? <sighs> <laughs> Well, I didn't think I'd stop him anyway. Oyoshi! Let her go. I want her right now. Hmm. Oyoshi! He's dangerous! You crazy samurai! Stop bothering Oyoshi! Give Otama back to her! If you don't, then I'll... I'll... Oyoshi! Why? Why do you run from me? Why? Your own father! Father? Huh? Yes, I did everything for you, Oyoshi. I'd do anything for you still. Anything you ask. Anything you ask of me. Please, father, kill mother for me. Hmm? Kill mother for me. If you love me, you'll do this. Oyoshi? Please kill mother. For me. I gave you everything you ever wanted. Everything. I stole for you. Killed for you. Stop making these false accusations. Give me back, Otama. You're talking about this? Otama. <sighs> <sighs> There now, Otama. You must have been so scared, little sister. Otama is gone. She's long dead. What are you saying? She's right here. You're just holding a rotten bag of bones. <gasps> no! You killed her. Your head and father's head. They were dancing together, dancing. Sister! You saw it, didn't you? <laughs> Were you scared? I was scared too. With those eyes. Those eyes. Ah! 
Otama! Otama is still alive! I know it! This? This thing is alive? Matsuzuro Ishikawa! What if I am? Surrender to us peacefully. I won't die. I can't die. Not until... Sleep, my love. Gentle slumber. My dear precious one, sweet dreams and happy memories. Oh, Yoshi! <gasps> Look at their heads, they're all dancing. you can live an entire lifetime and never understand what a tragedy her life has become listen Matahichi hmm? could you just grant her some sort of peace of mind she has suffered so much I want to save her somehow uh, there is little I can do but I shall try To the next world, we commit thee. Wind turns, whisper soft and sweet. Though there's not a grim of a breeze. Moonlight dancing on the garden. As a gently drift through the trees, from Main Street, right on this perfect night, while all of the world lay sleeping, find us here as we feel the moon. Evil and ambition scatter in the darkness, leaving behind dubious rumors to fly in public. Jojiro, owner of a horse farm, he chooses his dinner without revealing himself, and who knows what he'll eat for tonight's meal. Next time on Natsuhiko Kyogoku's Requiem from the Darkness, Salty Choji. To the next world, we commit thee.